Welcome back to the channel, guys. We've got a ton of 164 scale Ford Broncos out for review today. We've got everything from green light to M2, Johnny Lightning, and Hot Wheels. Looking at my entire collection of Ford Broncos. It all starts because of this Black Bandit Collection 25 release of the 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Tracks which I have one opened up already here. We're gonna look at all of the features of these vehicles as we get into the video, all the fancy little details, and a complete series 25 six vehicle set of the Black Bandits from Greenlight. Everything coming out of the package today for a full review. Some highlights in there include that 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe, the 1988 Chevrolet S10, 1990 Jeep Cherokee, and many more but also this video is going to be extra cool because you are going to see every single one of my broncos that i have in my collection green light ford broncos from the 1960s and early 70s green light ford broncos from the 1980s and early 1990s i'm going to take a quick recap on all of those the entire collection of black bandit ford broncos released all three generations of this casting the brand new release from M2 of its 1966 Ford Bronco. Uh, release 21 on those auto lifts. I managed to score two sets of these at Walmart. But uh, let's take a look just quick at this M2 Bronco. Uh, it has an opening hood. I don't believe it has any removable parts though. Uh, but the hood does reveal to a very detailed engine. And uh, let's just take a look at that. That is pretty cool. We'll zoom in here in just a moment, but kind of a quick overview of some of the highlights of this uh, set of vehicles that you're looking at today, as well as Hot Wheels Ford Broncos from the 1980s. And they've made some premium models, such as this police version, Highway Patrol, next to this Greenlight Highway Patrol. Very cool comparison. Not sure if I've ever done that one before. And I've taken a selection of my... I would say my most uh, unique vintage Hot Wheel Broncos from the display walls to show you guys today. This is certainly not all of them because I probably would have about 30 or 40 Ford Broncos just from the 80s in the Hot Wheels lineup. And I didn't want to put that many out on the table. I'm trying to keep it a nice even mixture. I've also got the latest 2021 release of the two-door Ford Bronco from Hot Wheels. And the only two Johnny Lightning Ford Broncos that I have. Right here, both vintage convertibles. So we are going to open up the Black Bandits first in this video and check out those vehicles, starting with the 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Tracks. But I also just found this lurking around here in the Hot Wheels room. Might as well show it to you since it does include a 92 Ford Bronco. This is the Hitch and Toe Racing Series 3. I'm going to keep this one in the package because I think it looks quite nice all together. And I typically do keep these racing series ones uh, together. But there's another Bronco. The first one that is coming out of the package. Well, actually, it's already out of the package. But we'll look at it just quick in the packaging so that you can get an idea of what these look like if you like to keep them in the packaging. So you got the 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Tracks. Uh, you got the six other vehicles listed on the back. These are nice and shiny, fresh out of a sealed case. And uh, this particular model does come with a removable separate hardtop and a spare tire, as well as the hitch, compatible with hitch and tow trailers. And now let's look at the loose, out-of-the-package version that I've already pre-opened. And unfortunately, the spare tire did break off, but I do have it here. So it's not really a big deal. I just got to glue that back on. I'm just going to store it in the back for now. I might have to uh, fix the back spare wheel. We'll do a... Ah, there you go. A little robustness test. But so cool that the hard top is removable. And uh, it does fit quite nicely. Very shiny. It's got mirrors on it, which is really good. If it didn't have the mirrors on it, I just don't think this model would look right. You got the hitch, all metal on metal. Number 2243 off the production line. 
and actually it rolls very nicely which is great very very cool vehicle this thing is high in demand for 2021 a lot of people disappointed that they didn't get theirs sooner because there has been a major recall on these already that has to do with this separate hardtop roof piece so what happens is when you open the doors on the real life model the windows actually go down about half an inch or so to clear the hardtop but the window motor mechanisms aren't working fast enough in all cases if you open the door very quickly the window could catch on the hardtop causing potential damage uh, or at least an inconvenient thunk so for that reason here in canada the very few four-door well the only i think they've only got four-door broncos out at this point the very few broncos i've seen uh, are all soft tops and uh, rarely will i see a hard top version if i do i assume it was one of the very first models that someone's holding out for uh, a recall that actually doesn't involve giving the truck back so yeah that's an interesting little backstory on ford broncos and so the next vehicle coming out of the black bandit collection is the 1990 jeep cherokee this is definitely going to be my second favorite vehicle out of the bunch i did own an 89 jeep cherokee two-door limited for quite a while and i absolutely loved it i think Greenlight has done a fantastic job with this vehicle as well as you can see it has cast mirrors on it very clear windows this seems to be uh it's nice to see the first two vehicles out of this green light set with extremely clear windows because in the past we've uh we've seen problems there wheels are rolling straight and true just about dropped it there no opening parts on this one and no hitch for the hitch and toe but as you can see uh different axles to allow for different stances on this jeep lift kits i guess are going to be an option in the future as far as i know the only two versions of this cherokee that are out right now are the hot pursuit version which i have on order and coming in the mail and uh, this black bandit version but i'm sure there's gonna be many more and wow does it ever roll nice this is just a great great model got the four by four uh badging on the back v6 2.8 liters that what it says 2.8 oh, it's just got the tiny engine in it hmm. okay next vehicle out is going to be the 88 chevy s10 and uh again i've pre-opened all these packages so i don't have to do any scissor work on camera and this one also a very new casting from green light my first casting of this one too so my first time to review this although it has been uh released in other paint jobs i just don't have any of them yet i think they were exclusives actually and that might be part of the reason why it was so difficult to find them but this one has a flat black finish with the gloss black top opening hood i do believe might be kind of hard for me to do so i'm not going to promise anything in fact, I'm not even going to try, actually. It could just be a cast piece. I'm going to have to do some exploration work on this truck off camera. But to keep this video moving, seeing that we have so much to look at, what do you guys think of this? Also cool that it has mirrors cast into it. Very nice. And no lift kits coming for this truck. But just a really cool piece. How does it roll? Fantastic. And how are the windows? very clear no glue marks no fingerprints looks like green lights listening to us and this one was hard to find so if i hadn't bought a sealed case i wouldn't have got this truck because every single one of these things gets bought up 2021 chevy tahoe and now i know why this thing is heavy and it is cool check out the the details like the police lighting on this thing is just terrific black bandit police uh they do come out a little oily from the from the factory packaging so i just give them a little 
massage with the microfiber rag here. And that does wonders. But again, we've got some nice clear windows. I'm not seeing any glue problems. I'm not seeing any problems with the wheels whatsoever. Wow, green lights on fire, I would say. This is great. I mean, now we're, we're getting quality that you are paying for. And it doesn't just look nice, but for the opener, you can actually enjoy it. And more and more, as I uh, discover other collectors out there uh, and, and talk to them about whether they open them or not, they are a lot of them openers. So this is quite important to have vehicles that actually roll and uh, look good as well. Next one out. This is not a new casting, but I think it's about two years old now. The 1970 Nissan Patrol. Very cool vehicle. This one also has a removable roof piece. And again, I think we should probably do it some justice by giving it a quick little, little massage with the, uh, the fleece. And there you go. Wheels are straight. Focus is troublesome with this Samsung 10. It's time to upgrade. And let's get this little thing off here if we can. As you can see, it has left an oily band on the uh on the vehicle come on there we go just rip it off all better very nice and you know what the roof actually stays on you need to physically remove it so that's nice as well this is a problem with the 1980s and 90s Ford Broncos that Greenlight produced initially. The, uh, the removal roof piece just falls off it nonstop. Uh, let's give an example here. Yeah, I didn't even get it to the camera. So for whatever reason, when Greenlight made these trucks, they just did not get these roof pieces on at all. But the... Uh, the other models that they're producing now, it seems like they've got clear windows, straight axles, and like pretty pretty decent roof pieces. So, all right. So onto the uh, 42 Willys Jeep. Never before seen in a Black Bandit, that's for sure. Got a few of these in the olive drab, which is more typical. And uh, let's take it, let's see if we can get this focus a little better here. Very nice details on this one. It's got like a flat or matte black finish. Decently straight rolling wheels. Detailed chassis, as you can see, it's got the drive shafts like cast right into the base. Nice steering wheel, gas can, windshield wipers on the windows. Looks really good. I think they've done a nice job on all these. And they're all just they're rolling great. They sound good, eh? Wow. Okay. Very impressed. That's uh, six Black Bandit green lights from Series 25. Featuring probably the most desirable one, the Ford Bronco or maybe the Tahoe. I think these are the uh, definite winners in this lineup all 164 scale true size as you can see they line up as they would in real life small vehicles and big vehicles and just for fun we've got the other black bandits from other previous releases including this ford bronco for i think this is a 66 it's got a lift kit on it oh it's a 70 70 Ford Bronco. Nice opening hood on that one. So we're going to just put it in there next to these ones just for fun. And then we've got this, uh, what, probably 1990 Ford Bronco. 94 Ford Bronco. Needs a bit of a shine itself. But uh, it's got these little tiny wheels on it. Black Bandit. And uh, this actual cap, is, I think it was when they started gluing them on. As you can see, it's not removable. So some of the older models have those flimsy fall-off type roof caps. Others have them actually permanently adhered. 
I don't know if there's somewhere in the middle, but that's Black Bandit. Now, let's look at the latest from M2 in the Auto Lifts Release 21, the 66 Ford Bronco. I've got those already opened up for a quick review here. Lost the base plate to it when I was moving it, but that's not a big deal. Anyways, this is how it would sit. These things are screwed to the lift when you buy them from the pack, like when they're in the packaging so that they don't fall off and move around. Both feature opening hoods and you can easily take all the screws out that hold the lift to the base and the vehicles to the base and to the lift, which if you're a loose collector, you may want to do. Some people like to display them on these lifts as they are stackable. I like to put them into my plain old uh, background display cases that you see on the walls here and in the rest of the Diecast Museum. Of the two models, I would have to say the blue, kind of the drab blue version is my favorite. Uh, it has this performance hood scoop attached to the hood. And if you open the hood, it does reveal fairly detailed engine under there. It is all one color of blue. But uh, the fit and finish of that hood is terrific. The tires look great. It's got the proper badging on it. It does have a hitch, which may or may not be compatible with hitch and tow trailers. I've yet to actually try that. A full real spare tire. Um, no mirrors on this one, but these older models would have had just like those little circular mirrors, maybe only on one side. So anyways, it's not a, not a deal breaker, but this actually is a very nice looking Bronco. Let's compare it to one of the only two Johnny Lightning Broncos I have. And it appears that these ones would have the same grill nearly. Which one do you think is more authentic? Please let me know in the comments. And Johnny Lightning also... Uh, no. It looked like an opening hood. No opening hood. Different colored bucket seats on the Johnny Lightning version. And of course no lift kit. Looks to be the same wheel... No. Different scale slightly. Johnny Lightning... Not known to adhere to any certain scale, whereas M2 and Greenlight do uh, at least try to stick to 164 scale. So let's look at uh, a, the M2 against a Greenlight now. And again, it looks like the similar grill. M2 does appear to be a bigger scale, maybe. Vehicles aren't actually much difference in width. How about length? Length is only mildly longer if we're lining up the back bumper or the front bumper. So the M2 has a longer hood. Now these might not be the exact same models or years. This is 70 and this is 66. So I don't really know. I do have the opening uh, hood on the green light showing the engine. Either way, I'm not so worried about the scale because I think scale is like, you know, it's kind of close enough when you're this small at 164 scale. I think the green light Broncos look amazing. Uh, nothing wrong with these. Absolutely fantastic models. And we'll continue to buy them just about every release they make. The M2, I'm going to say about the same though. Because I just like it. I really like this, this the stance that it has with those big tires. And uh, let's take a look at this more customized version. It also features... A hood scoop and the blue kind of non de well, it's it's detailed but it's not like painted detailed engine on the inside it's hard to see because it's black interior but got a couple of bucket seats a roll bar steering wheel with instrument gauges you could paint those up and make it look really nice if you want to with a steady hand um it's black rims with the what, what kind of tires are these again Wrangler, oh, that one's a little bit off, the Goodyear Wrangler tires, so you can see the print is a little bit off on that one, not a big deal, very nice and bright coloration though, and a solid piece, it's all metal, some plastic components on it, but uh, these things also roll 
really nice. So, like, M2 and Greenlight have both just figured out how to make wheels roll, which is amazing. I'm so happy. And also, how to keep windows clear of fingerprints and glue residue. So, also, amazing. Uh, so excited to continue to collect Greenlight and M2 now that I've seen this progression. And this is, uh, you know, completely random. I've just purchased several cases of these things. And we're not seeing any problems. This one doesn't have any problems that I can see. I mean, the odd part falls off like a, a spare wheel, but it's so easy to glue back on. In fact, the very same thing happened with this one of the two Bronco M2 two-car sets. I had to glue this wheel back on. I just did that last night, and, you know, it's solid. So the Cherokee clear windows on this one. So that's these are duplicates. These are my duplicates. Uh, appears to be clear windows on these and uh, the M2 well very nice like absolutely amazing so very good here we have an old green light product this is from 2014 the country roads now I can't guarantee that it rolls great but it does have clear windows and I don't know why I didn't open that one up I guess I guess it just didn't Anyways, let's look at all the rest of the Broncos we have now that we've reviewed everything new. And uh, we can talk a little bit about that. All these awesome Broncos. First things first, though, i got to fix this, uh, this Bronco here and its spare tire. So we're just going to show you how I do that. Just using some simple... Uh, oh, geez, making a mess here. Oh my gosh, simple glue. Okay, so sometimes it goes a little crazy. Pack, the glue is getting a little empty, so that's probably why. And we're just gonna ever so carefully, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of glue on that back wheel, spare wheel, and then uh, just line it up. And this appears to be how I'm going to get that back wheel on there straight. Got a little dab of glue, which will dry clear, so you won't actually see that little bit of overage. But I really was just trying to get the wheel straight to the back of the Bronco. And so I've used a couple little snippets of cardboard to help hold it in place and protect the delicate paint and tampa work on the Bronco. But I really can't uh bump the table anymore so we're just going to look at the broncos that are left here this video has been carrying on anyways for a little bit so we've got some old vintage hot wheel broncos in here some pretty rare ones in here got the geoffrey the giraffe toys r us bronco uh the hot wheels car culture bronco and uh well oh yeah we're gonna look at those new 2021 versions pretty cool basic mainline nice to see those in a premium model so i'm sure we will because that's what happened with other vehicles such as the uh non-premium bronco then went premium you get a lot much better uh livery and decorations as well as the rubber tires and all metal construction and uh oh, side by side comparison we did talk about that at the start of the video so let's do that green light Highway Patrol versus Hot Wheels Highway Patrol. So two different generations of Bronco, probably. Got different front ends on them completely. There's that loose back cap that I was talking about earlier. But otherwise, interesting. Both these vehicles were released in the same year. I think this was 2019 or 2020. One or the other. K9 unit was on the back of this one. No spare tire on the green light model. Don't you 